Right then guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday the 13th of September and I'm off to do some power harrowing. Putting the leveling boards down. Right now, the power harrow is at 100% height on the link arms. And as you can see, the PTO is at a bit of an angle. So to avoid damage to the PTO, I'm gonna set an upper limit on the link arms. So the upper limit here is at 100%. I've been working with it down at about 50%. I'm tapping this down. So the uh, power harrow is going down. Like I said, get this to about 50%. There we go. And now the power harrow can only go up to 50% on the uh, the height with the link arms. It is high enough to clear the ground when I you know, lift up and turn around at the other end, but there's no risk now of the PTO. I don't know if you can see from here, but the angle of the PTO is not as severe, so should be fine. Last thing I want to do is shear the PTO shaft. Right, so PTO on. Want to be in about sixth gear, I think. Get the revs up. Get the auto steer ready. I'm using the same track as I was using when I was chisel plowing in here. So I can pull forward and let her down. Here we go. It is dry out here. You can see the dust. So the aim of the game is to knock down a little bit of these cultivations, sort of break it up a little bit, break up the clods, level off the field, just so it's nice and level then, ready for the drill. And as far as drilling goes, we're gonna make a start drilling some winter wheat, probably next week, or within the next week or two anyway. A little bit earlier than uh, a lot of people like to go, but uh, we like to go early. Obviously a lot depends on black grass, and weather but all being well we'll be making a start in the not so distant future needs a, uh, a good clean as somebody did point out on my last video I'm well aware it needs cleaning it's uh, been out power hiring for the last couple of days and yeah it's just so dry out there there's a lot of dust everywhere and of course I've got to make sure that I get the cab filters blown out regularly as well as the air filter and the rads so I'm pretty much blowing those down every day and then yeah as soon as uh, we're done with this uh, field work this tractor can have a good old wash inside and out. I mean, look at that. It is bone dry out here, but there is some rain on the forecast for, well, a bit later on, I think. So, I don't know if that will stop me a bit later, but uh, yeah, rain this afternoon and rain tomorrow, according to the forecast. But I don't know about you, but I don't think they'll be getting it right at all this year. The weather forecast has pretty much been wrong every day. You really can't trust the forecast at all. So where I am at the moment 
moment I'm in the uh, the top 60 acre of this field and it always sits a bit rougher up here that's why I'm going nice and steady with the power harrow. Dad's just turned up with the TM165 and the Dyna Drive. he's going to be doing a bit of the ground sort of a bit further down in the middle of the field where it's uh, a bit kinder and the Dyna Drive should do a really good job down there so he's here in the TM I'm in the John Deere we've got both tracks in the field this morning Leveling board's already come up. It's a bit rough down on this bank, and uh, yeah, it's not one of the leveling boards. Over, so I'm gonna flip that back down. Right, I've got to climb Wheat Mountain. As you can see up here, we've got three cooling fans. I'm just gonna move them a little bit further along the heap here. One, two, three. So it's pretty important to keep the wheat nice and cool. So every couple of days, I move the fans just to keep some cool air blowing through. And these boots are awesome. I haven't got a single grain of wheat in either shoe. Well, they were right about the rain. They actually got it right. But unfortunately, we've got a slight issue with the TM. So I'm just heading over to the New Holland dealership, Russell's, to pick up some brake fluid for the TM. We've got a bit of an issue with 
the brakes. So the other day we noticed that the uh, brake fluid reservoir was a little bit low, it was just under the minimum mark. So dad topped it up, it went back to work, but he's uh, just come back from the field to tell me the brakes are uh, not working and the uh, the reservoir has gone right down so there's a bit of a leak somewhere but not just that he's put the wrong oil in it he's put dot four oil in there when it really needs the proper brake fluid the new holland brake fluid it's a mineral based oil and uh, if you put the wrong oil in it can damage the seals in the axle so fingers crossed it hasn't uh, done any damage but it was run for a, a good day's work since putting the wrong oil in so yeah that could be problematic but i'm gonna go pick up some of the right oil I'm gonna go back help dad flush it out if we can and uh yeah just hope that it hasn't done too much damage it's a mistake that to be honest i could have made it uh it was ray that spotted it he said uh it's a little bit low have we got any brake fluid i couldn't find any brake fluid so i asked dad if he knew where any was and he found some and uh we we put it in or he put it in but uh if i had found some i'd have given it to ray and i'd have been like yeah just use this ray so yeah it uh it needs the right stuff in it so we've made a bit of a boo-boo there Right, we got it. Ambra brake LHM mineral brake fluid. This is what we should be putting in there. So yeah, go back see dad and hopefully we can get it flushed out and uh, I hope we don't have any problems. It's not a full bottle. They didn't have any on the shelf. He nipped that out the workshop. He should have some on the shelf, he said, but- um, Is that a full bottle? Three quarters. Three quarters. Okay. Free of charge, though. Eh? Oh, free of charge. That's free right. Free of charge. Take the top off what you've got. I'm giving it a good clean. The, this um, is the top off the little reservoir. Off the reservoir, yeah. Uh, it was completely caked in old um, oil. Can you see what it says on there? Very yeah. small. Mineral oil only. Only. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sort of good news is I've um, I've used my um, pump. Raised my pump here. This is, um, I've got this actually. This is, this is, I haven't used it yet. It's, uh, it's a fuel tester. This is the bottle that goes on here. There's like a breast pump, Dad. It, 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 it is purging, uh, brake fluid <laughs> or breast pump. Or breast pump. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done, I managed to get that little bit out. Yeah, you know, that pipe I broke, not broke, I split, split the system and you pumped the pe brake pedal and got it all out. That's it. We did that, I, didn't I we? I got that last little drop out. Just a bit worried that, uh, the um, dot four will affect the seals badly in the axle yeah i presume there's like two little slaves in the in the, yeah. in, in the axle i'm not sure i'm not an expert we need ray raise back tomorrow we need ray he's on holiday yeah that's why you uh, uh, you've, you've been tractoring you've been doing his jobs yeah. you guys have yet to meet ray everyone's saying well, ray hasn't been on camera yet the reason for that is he's just been in the tractor for the last week or two he, he has, he? yeah um I don't think he's that camera shy. So. No, 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 I'm sure you'll see you'll, him soon. You'll see him soon. They haven't got any. They didn't have any on the shelf, no. He gave me that three-quarter <laughs> can for free, so uh, bonus well, points to Russell's there. Thanks very much. What I thought I'd do there is top it up, and then if we could... Uh, you want me to pump the pedals? Yeah. I took this pipe off too. I let this completely drain out. Up there's the, the cylinder, isn't it? Yeah. Then these pipes go down here. Yeah, we've traced these along. Here. To this assembly here. We know that. And it's some sort of trailer brake arrangement too. This pipe, this is my little arrangement. The one you can pop in there. The flexible pipe with the elbow is the one that goes into the assembly. That's the one that's got a slight leak on it. In fact, it's getting worse, that leak. It's, yeah. It's, an, it's near the crimp join. I've put this on to try and draw it out. Because it's that, it's that pipe, I think, goes down to the axle yeah but as i say, i've got that last little bit out right do you want me to pump it again then and i think so Nick. It was, i've got this bleed screw open here yeah what i think it, this would be a minimum sort of thing it's going to do is put put this proper oil into the master cylinder through the lines to this point here yeah i get you and that it's all that's better than nothing better than it? nothing probably all we can do for now well, there's nothing there at all at the moment no, 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 nothing, at all, no, no. nothing at all just keep going yeah if i take my tube off you can take that off, Ian. So uh, I've got to get a 10 mil spanner now, Nick, to just do that up. And then you can try pumping it through just with the bleed screw open. Yeah, okay. You brought half the field back with you, haven't you? Yeah, I tell everybody off that, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have cleaned that down if it was me. I probably wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done, no, and then you'd have told me off for it. <laughs> but our house nice and clean. No, you No, it's not really. <laughs> also a mistake. I put in the wrong 
Brake fluid in. Change your leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my left leg. I'll use my right leg now. Just just nice and gently do it, Dave. Yeah, keep going. Oh, gently. Gen uh, that was gently. Was it? Sorry, did I get you? A little bit. Just a little bit. A bit more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you told me to do it. <laughs> one more time. Just one. That's just what's come out. I don't think I smell it now. It smells like mineral water, I think. A nice bits come through. So I'm fairly confident now, Nick, the reservoir and the master saloon is now full of the proper oil. The proper oil. And the pipe to this point. We probably should have caught it, I suspect, really, but <laughs> <laughs> most of it went on you though, didn't it? Most of it went on me, yeah. <laughs> That's somewhere near, but I, as I say, the two most important bits I would have said. Uh, are down here. Yeah. We just need Ray now. We just need Ray now. <laughs> <laughs> some, some good advice. Yeah. Um, Ray's good with this sort of thing. And he's back tomorrow, so. Back tomorrow, yeah. Do you want to take it off to have the dyno drive? Then I can give the back end a bit of a wash I down. Then we're ready for Ray in the morning, mate. Right? Yeah, I'll do that. Better, uh, needs a bit of a clean, doesn't it? I'll do that. Oh dear. Well, I hope we can get it sorted.